Welcome back to AI, the Somnium Files. Last time we asked everyone everything possible. This time we were supposed to go to HQ, I think. Yeah, Abyss headquarters. Let's go. Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. Yeah. These are tasty when they're golden brown. Dashboard. I believe you're referring to hash browns. Mirror, mirror in the car. Who is the most handsome policeman by far? Why, that is Mr. Date, of course. Date, this is starting to concern me. You really should get some sleep. It's kind of weird because the Renju guy was supposed to be Date's friend and he hasn't had much. Uh, it hasn't had a big effect on that at all. Like he was a bit mad the next day. But yeah. Boxing gloves. A boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. I by sitting in the passenger seat. Well, to be precise, an image of I by sitting in the passenger seat. Uh, uh, I'm exhausted. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. Dots, dots. What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. Huh, now it's awkward. Dots. Yes. Very awkward. About Mizuki. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. About money. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume, but... She might not remember. Yeah. Correct. About so. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. Yeah, if he had nothing to do with it, might as well tell some information that we, we could use. And then we'd be off his ass and he could go, be, go back to being an evil, corrupt politician. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. Your face is still weird, Mom. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah. Well, there has to be some reason he appeared. <laughs> About So. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Is So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Any other information? There is an important piece of news. What is it? 
The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. Hmm? What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called 8s. 8 is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she leave with Ota and Iris? They all went together there. She went to buy chocolate and then the stuff happened. Where did Mayumi go after buying the chocolate? That would be nice to know. Did she stuff just? Forgot that she was with them and left home, or was she somehow involved? Or did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if she bought that, she might have been at the scene. But then she would have been driving with Iris and. Yeah, this is this is kind of weird. Also, it might be Oh then It might have gone like this. Ota Iris and Mayumi left from the diner together. Mayumi joined them for some reason. She was pretty pretty uh, Weird when she, when Iris said or did something to her, so she goes with them. They go to this parking lot. Iris stays in the car. Out and Mayumi go to the store. The polar bear guy steals the van, drives, drives there. But this wouldn't explain. The cell phone that Oda dropped, unless she had, he had dropped it before. I'm getting so confused. I'm so confused. Well, dots, dots. Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date. Did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Also, if Ota had the candy wrapper in the warehouse, it should have had his fingerprints because he was wearing fingerless gloves, not full gloves. Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. Okay. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. Mm, that sucks. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. Yeah, yeah. I'm really interested in hearing. He's sad of, sto of the store. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. Central Hospital, Monday, 5.42 p.m. How are you feeling, Ota? 
You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. You're quite lucky to survive a stepping. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Bosco tried the business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation. Or maybe it was because he saved Iris. So okay, the cynic in me looks at the situation like this. Ota becomes a hero to Iris and her mother by saving her. And only, only gets stabbed in the stomach for it. But now they would be eternally grateful to him. So yeah. But maybe, maybe we'll talk to him before I accuse him more. <laughs> If you start start just thinking of one theory, you'll, you'll miss a whole lot of clues that you either dismiss because they don't fit in your in your theory or something like that. So maybe maybe I should maybe I should just hear more. Yeah, sure. Is it a bedside table when you move it away from the bed? I suppose then it's just a table. Hey, Date, when are you planning on leaving? The good stuff is gonna come on soon. Good stuff. You're not watching that tonight. Or maybe he just wants to talk to both and not, not to Date. That might be it. Also, you conked us on the head last night. Hopefully we'll talk about that. Hey, Date. I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Will you sleep with me? Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Old woman? Oof. Big oof. Uh, let's talk to ooh, 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 ooh. Boss first. Look at her first. Boss is standing on the other side of the bed. Uh, why did you come here? I'm kind of interested in Ota. In me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. Hero? Little? I'm... 24. To me, you're still little. Did you find any new clues? If I did, I would have told you already. Anything you want to ask? I'll leave this to you, Date. Ota is lying down on the bed. In the bed. About the Oh yeah, you hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, but you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. So we'll just gloss over that? Obstructing officer of law. 
fucking knocking them out for five hours. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Okay then. Um, did you hear about Iris? Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Ota's body temperature is rising. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. Who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? Well, it wasn't in the stream. A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Uh, this isn't really anything to... Uh... Like here, he calls the polar bear a he. And after... After that, it was a stem for the bear, because we can't know who's inside. He he also uses tear as well. It might be just some translation. Translation thingies, but. About that thing. That's. Dots. Dots. <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is going to come crashing down. <sighs> Dots. But I can't tell you. Why not? Dots. Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. Oh. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Dots. Dots. Okay. So in my mind, <laughs> Ota is either a fucking psycho psychopath fan who does anything to get in a good favor of, of their uh, uh, idol, or he's just an obsessed fan who will hit police officers to the head to protect their idol. So I, I don't have a very high opinion of him at the moment. About that thing. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. Fuck, what happened Saturday? <laughs> what did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. This must have been about 8.50. 8.50. 
Oh, my timeline is... I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. Wasn't he dead by that spot? But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Don't you not have one? You don't have a license? Shh! Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. That's... Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. Hmm. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's... That's... That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. 850. Can't really remember. But I had a theory earlier that if Iris wasn't the culprit there, she might have been forced to to bring the body to the cafe and do the hook things and everything else. Maybe. But I don't really have any evidence supporting that or why why she would have agree, agreed to that and this is also just uh hearsay from out though iris was super dodgy about the about the night that renchu died so it might be true. And it would, would fit the, the theory that Iris would have transported the body. Or be the killer, but... I don't think that at the moment. Um, about that team. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? So that would make it seem like she was the nice to see him alive. And that doesn't look good for Iris. This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if she was working, if she was working together with Ota, and she was the mastermind, this would be the perfect way to make her seem not like the culprit. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? Hmm. What happened after you left Matsushi the diner? You mean after... Hitting you with the walk? Yes. Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. How did Mayumi get to the same place as you were? I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car and I went inside. But then I heard Tessa screaming, Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! 
I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. After stealing the station wagon. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought after I hit you. You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Quite lucky to have left your phone under the seat. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. After running into the warehouse. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? Quite convenient that everything happened off screen. <laughs> I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear. And I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. The identity of the polar bear. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? Dots. Dots. I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. <laughs> After all this, what is he trying to hide? Like, he didn't tell any information about the stuff that I wanted to know. About the older Rocky Man chocolate. I took the chocolate out and shot it. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? Dots. 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 You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Date. Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? Boss is standing on the other side of the bed. Caution, you say? I said that Ota was acting strange. Like he didn't mention his mother at all in the story and he have video evidence that his mother was at the parking lot as well. Does he think, does he think that his mother did it? Oh. Oh, what's this? Maybe it's a knife with flowers on it. Maybe it was at the scene. I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. No, it wasn't. Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! 
Uh, just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. But you can still get information inside his head. We don't even have his consent this time. Last time Iris at least signed some form to do this. Police headquarters, Monday, 8.15 p.m. Dante, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please, do not go over it. Won't be a problem. But, are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. We might be able to do the Somnium as well. If we are fast. Can you please take me with you? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. this cold storage warehouse seems to be not a manga cafe or an otaku shop no but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action dramas you know a lot predicting this i did some research on ota's taste i see by the way are you smaller either that or everything else is bigger interesting hey that's the polar bear Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call! The earth cries out! The crowds roar! All calling on me to strike back against evil! Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! Oh my god... <laughs> from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. Nah, it's his dream of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan, activate. Fancy. Sinking in the swain. Relive Ota's memories. Reproduce the fiery battle between Ota and Polar Bear. Save Iris. Save the world. I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. Whoa! Damn it! If I go in like that, I'll have nothing to show for it! All of it amounts to nothing. What will I do? Actually, I think we will stop <laughs> this scene with the dots, because that's my current mood at the time. So yeah, we will do Otis Somnium next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.